talking about what we just did. So in these compounds, we're going to identify whether they're an oxide, a peroxide, or a superoxide. And then we're going to name these compounds, OK? So I want you to help me out. So the first thing I'm going to do is write over here what an oxide is, a peroxide, and a superoxide, OK? So oxide, what does that mean? O2 minus, very good. Uh, peroxide? Yeah, O2, 2 minus. And a superoxide? O2 minus. Yeah, O2 minus, like that. So is everybody okay with that stuff? Memorize those things, okay? So, is this compound a uh, Oxide, peroxide, or superoxide. How do we go about figuring that out? Let's do it this way. We'll put cation, we'll make a table for it, and anion. Okay? So what's the cation in this compound? Is that a cation, just rubidium? That sounds like an atom to me. Is it plus two? How do I figure it out? It's rubidium plus, right? RB plus. But there's two of them. Like that, right? So what's the um, charge of oxygen? What kind of oxygen do we have here? It's an O, what is it? Two. Two, two minus, right? So what kind of um, oxygen is that? Peroxide. It's a peroxide, right? So the name of this compound is going to be what? Rubidium peroxide. You guys okay with doing that? So the next one, and we're going to do it the same way, okay? So what's the cation here? CA2 plus. is that bad already? <laughs> and uh, uh, anion? O2 minus. So what kind of uh, compound is this? That's an oxide. So what's the name of it? Calcium oxide, yeah. OK, what about this one? So what's the cation? CS plus, very good. And then the anion must be what? O2 minus. So that means it's a what? Superoxide. So what's the name? Cesium. Superoxide. Okay. What about SrO2? What is the cation? Sr2 plus. So that means oxygen is what? O2 2 minus. What is that? Peroxide. So what do we got? Whatever SR is. <laughs> Strontium. Peroxide. Okay. And the last one, what's its name? I know you guys know its name. Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. So what's